So is the Disney film Float any good? Find out right now. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan and I have autism. ADHD and OCD. If you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell and give this page a follow to see more videos like this. Guys, welcome back. What's going on? I wanted to do this video because last week I reviewed a Disney film called Loop, which is a story, an animated Disney short available on the Disney Plus app for the, uh, you know, digital tech. If you've got an Apple TV, that's what I watch it on, or you can use it on your iPhone or whatever. But the Disney Plus app has a bunch of different movies on there from Disney and they have this thing called Disney Shorts. Now these are about nine to eleven minutes long and this uh, this particular movie that I watched last week was called Loop, which is about an autistic nonverbal girl who was out on a lake on a canoe with a guy, uh, uh, you know, a young guy, and it was really, really fun and it was a good movie. So if you want to check out my review of that, I will leave that in the link down below. Uh, in the description of this video so you can check that out as well uh, and in the show notes if you're listening on the podcast. Now in terms of uh, Disney's shorts I came across another one called Float. Now I heard about this movie because when I released my video about Loop a lot of people in the comments said you have to check out Float and I was already aware I mean Float was on my radar and I thought okay look it looks similar it has a similar feel and I knew it was about something kind of that could be related to autism so I thought I'd check it out. Now Float is a good movie and I have um, uh, connected it to autism, but I, I think that you could actually connect it to anything. Now, let me go over it. So, the, the movie Float starts off with a uh, young guy, young father, you know, he's a young man, he's got this little baby, he's a toddler, totting about, and the kid's really cute, and they're playing about in the garden, and then the kid all of a sudden starts to float, like the supernatural ability just floats away, and uh, the dad has loads of fun with the kid, but then when he realizes that people are stopping and staring and pointing and all these kind of things, he kind of says, Oh, 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 uh, and he kind of panics, you know, he's like, oh, oh, and he goes inside the house and closes the door, closes the curtains, kind of like traps himself inside. Now, to me, this instantly is a really good representation of how you feel when you feel that you are different in society, because society has judging mechanisms to judge you for being different, even though, you know, there's no reason for them to judge you. You know, you're different and that's who you are and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that this film, uh, it really encapsulates that feeling you get when you're like, oh my goodness, I am different and people are looking at me and staring at me, what do I do? Now, in the movie, you see the kid grows up and, uh, you know, he's still floating about the house and the dad has a lot of fun, you know, playing about with his kid and stuff and they walk past a park and it, there's loads of children playing in the park and he wants, to, you know, the little boy wants to play in the park but his dad's like, no, you know, we can't because, you know, he's putting rocks in his backpack because he's like floating and stuff and he's growing and he's becoming, you know, more floaty because he's growing, he's bigger and bigger, he has to put more rocks in his backpack. And then as he stops to look over and thinking probably to himself, oh, you know, we can't play in parks and I'm really upset about it. His kid runs off to play in the park, but floats off because he's taking off his backpack, taking off his coat. And the kid is running about and or floating about and freaking all the other kids out in, in, in what's presented. And the parents are looking really weird and taking their kids away. And they're trying to say like, you know, don't go near this kid. And you know, this kid's got something wrong with him because they're floating around and this isn't normal, you know, what they perceive as being normal. And then the dad goes in there and is like, no, you know, and starts dragging the kid out of the park and then stops suddenly and says, why can't you just be normal? And then the kid kind of like, you know, floats down and deflated and just becomes this really sad. It's quite an upsetting part of the movie. and. His dad then just carries the kid and realizes that he didn't mean that. He just said it out of anger. And I guess that's a lot of people may feel that they want to scream that, even though they don't feel that because, you know, they, they see pressure from people around. And I don't like using the term normal and nobody should ever lash out at a kid, goodness me. But I'm just saying that the feeling that it's representing, the feeling that it's putting out there that you could potentially relate to. And then he takes his kid and he sits down on the swings with his kid and then he he takes the little kid's hood down as if to say like, you know, you don't need to hide who you are. Hey, just go for it. And then he like lets the kid float about and then he, his dad's on the swing and the kid's floating about and they're having a good time. And he's kind of like, I don't care what any of the parents think here. I'm, I'm ashamed of the fact that I told my kid I wanted him to be normal, but you know what? I love them just the way they are and I want them to have fun and I want to have fun with them and experience that. I mean, just, whoa, like, you know, to me, that represents autism, like a hidden disability. Like he was looking to it as a problem, like an issue that his kid wasn't normal, quote unquote. And it just absolutely blew me away where he had this um, 
this really a strong emotional character that you could really relate to. Now, because the kid is floating and not doing anything specifically disabled or disabling in society, in the views of society, you could or one could relate this to anything. It could be, you know, ADHD, autism, severe learning difficulties, nonverbal autism. It could be anything. Now, I think that this was a step in the right direction. Disney are doing fantastic work. Float isn't fantastic. Loop is fantastic. The fact that they have these videos out showing disabilities is just... It's just outrageously phenomenal. I'm re I'm just like blown away. Like I saw it and I was like, wow, like, oh my God, this is so good. However, my only issue is that they're not long enough. I'd love to see, like I gave, um, you know, loop, nine out of ten because it didn't get the extra point because I, it wasn't long enough but then again you know it is a 10 out of 10 movie it just isn't long enough and the same with float float was a 10 out of 10 from me just not long enough disney i know they're called disney shorts maybe why don't you take these ideas from disney shorts and then turn them into movies full-length movies because i think this is the way that we get people to realize and understand hidden disabilities neurological um disabilities things like that because by trying to do real life action movies like sia and the whole controversy surrounding her film music and you know, going off what we had, what Rain Man, and you know, they're not equal, fair representations. They're just like they're hard to represent, and of course, they get a lot of backlash because if you're putting real characters to play, you know, autistic people who and, and the, the, those real life characters aren't autistic, and they're playing real life autistic people, it becomes very mu muddy water, and you get a lot of controversy, like what's happened with Sia. And I've done a lot about that. Again, I will link that discussion playlist uh, in the description of this video and in the show notes if you want to check out my discussion on the Sia music controversy uh, because it's an ongoing saga. But in terms of one of the solutions, how would you get around that? How would you get around the issue? Like if, if, if you were in Sia's position and you wanted this movie about Austin, what would you do? And I guess that would be the answer. You find somebody who's a great writer and then you animate it and that way nobody is being, uh, you know, misrepresented. Uh, you know, you can consult with the right people on it. it a cartoon can be anything with float was just fantastic. The kid floated. It didn't have any specific, you know, uh, traits of any condition. He was floating, but it made you realize what that meant. And it was just fantastic. I, I, I actually think it's great. Now, if you want to check it out, it's available on the Disney Plus platform. This video isn't sponsored by Disney or anything like that. I mean, I would love it, but it, it's not. Um, but I highly recommend checking it out because if you're someone who wants to learn more about it or wants to show somebody else a video so they can learn more about hidden disabilities, this would be the one. Let me know what your thoughts are on it if you have seen it or go and watch it right now. Come back, watch this video and leave me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.